Hi, Alicia. Hi, Sidi. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank <laughs> so, you so much. Yes. yes, absolutely. I mean, you will be joining McKinsey uh, and Company in the Helsinki office. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, I guess this was probably the professional highlight of the year 2022, right? Well, yes. Uh, well, I would say that's the biggest highlight for me in the past century. So it's much more than 2022. <laughs> yes, I'm very excited about this. <laughs> Great. <laughs> cool. So, I mean, how did you actually uh, receive the happy news? I mean, uh, what I mean is, did they call you the same day um, when you had your final round interviews or did you have to wait? <laughs> yes, the results came very quickly um, for both my first round and final round. So the final round uh, interviews for me, it took place like uh, two weeks ago on a Friday. Mm -hmm. And it ended like at 4 p.m. Uh, in, and, and then only like three and a half hours after that, like around 7.30, uh, a partner from uh, McKinsey Helsinki office called me uh, to inform me about the good news. You know, mm -hmm. I was like making dinner uh, at that time with one of my friends were coming over. So it took me totally by surprise. Uh, and, <laughs> I didn't know that it was like working this late. I guess it was just starting the night shift or something. Yeah, <laughs> but then, yeah. yeah, it was great. And you know, after hearing about the great news, so as you could imagine, I, I took my friend and my boyfriend went out for, for dinner outside. We celebrate uh, lots of yes. things <laughs> with <army. laughs> so it was great, yes. Very good, very good. And very deserved <laughs> celebration. <laughs> I mean, yes. Um, maybe um, you could talk a little bit about your entire journey of preparing for these interviews. I mean, uh, how did you start, right? What were the challenges that emerged at the beginning? Um, and what was the most important reason for you to decide to receive coaching from us, right? And how did this then affect your traje uh, trajectory throughout the preparation? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, so I, I have been uh, thinking about changing my career to consulting for a while, but I really didn't know uh, what to do or where to start. Um, so, you know, at the beginning of 2022, um, I made a New Year resolution for myself, you know, and, and one of the items was to break in consulting. So then I talked to my boyfriend, who is also a consultant and also a former mentee of this program. Mm -hmm. And he shared with me his personal story of how he break, break in uh, consulting, right? Mm -hmm. And he showed me that he was wasting a lot of time on prep launch and, you know, trying to study by, my, by himself. Uh, and he didn't see much progress until he, he met you, CD. Uh, so he really encouraged me to just reach out to you and, and see how it goes. So I, I, I thought, uh, so I reached out to you and then I, I really followed his advice and I started to, to do this uh, professional coaching with you at the end of January. Um, I think fully by, by February, I was all, all completely on board to the program. Uh, I think it was a, a very good decision because uh, as we all know, I, I got an offer from McKinsey now. So it was great that I take that decision. Yep. Um, so coming down to the reasons, right, uh, about why I chose your program. So yeah. I think uh, it was because of three factors. Um, so the first one was uh, was that I wanted to get quick access to high quality content on, on MBB interview preparation. That was the first factor. Mm -hmm. uh, the second one was about wanting to build my business thinking quickly through the program. Yeah. Uh, and the last one was the endorsement from my boyfriend whom I really trust. Um, you know, the, the last reason is something very obvious to, to us both, so I will yeah. maybe go deep dive in the first two reasons. Yeah. Um, so the first one was that I wanted to build a quick access to, uh, I wanted to get the quick access to high quality content. Um, you know, I was a, a full-time uh, working professional back then, yeah. Um, yeah. so time was like critical for me. I, I didn't have much time after work. Yeah. And, you know, after work, I just had a few hours and I really would rather to spend these few hours after work to do things like practicing or studying for my interviews, right? And, and not yeah. just waste time on the internet looking for the best contents and, you know, people to practice with. So I didn't want to do that. Yeah. And your program really gave me the whole package, like from the content itself was very great, case structuring, homeworks, and then PI stories and personal coaching and uh, that book meant these too. So all in once, it was a, a no, no brainer for me, I would say. <laughs> cool. Um, so um, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, I understand this and I would like to elaborate a little bit on this, right? Because uh, you, you were already mentioning all these elements, right? So, mm -hmm. I mean, if you reflect on the total preparation program that we went through together, um, is there actually a particular element of the program which you believe has been especially helpful for you to reach this, this top level that you needed in order to convince all your interviewers at McKinsey? Yeah, well, I think um, the program is very, very strong on the case structuring part um, because I myself have received so many compliments from the interviewers who interviewed me um, at, at McKinsey and BCG as well on mm. the case uh, problem solving uh, skill, like especially case structuring skill. 
Yeah. Um, so I would say that you, the program really taught me very well uh, on you know ways on the structure way on how to question about things like especially the case context, how to navigate through the cases, uh, think of, about uh, strategic problems, and also communicate it in a top-down manner. So yeah. That was uh, very, very well uh, taught. And that was, I think, the, the important factors that would differentiate me from other uh, inter uh, interviewees uh, also went through the same process like me. Yeah, 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 great. Um, so um, one of the things which is, uh, I believe, <laughs> particularly cool in our program is that, I mean, after we are establishing some of the basic foundational principles, um, our mentally, mentees can then practice with each other, right? And uh, I mean, contrary to normal candidates that you might find uh, on the internet on several pr uh, platforms, right? Then you will also practice with people who have also been coached by us, right? On these uh, principles, how to cut through problems in a rigorous way. So uh, they don't need to waste their time with a, with a lot of yeah nonsense feedback uh, that uh, usually other people will give them. So, uh, I mean, how helpful has this been to you? Well, it, I would say that it has been incredibly helpful. So uh, while the content from the program really gave me the theoretical thinking on how to tackle problems, I think the practice with peers really uh, happy to reinforce this thinking. Yeah. Uh, and you know, with the people who really um, share the same principle like me, it, it actually helped me a lot to internalize you know, the theories that was given to me uh, from the program and uh, really boost up my confidence right uh, forward. Yeah. And I would say that the network of peers that we have here in the program are incredibly smart. Um, they are very inspiring, very hardworking, and also very kind individuals, right? Um, so throughout the journey, I have been given a really great amount of support from others as well, who cheers me up throughout the, this long journey. And also, we have been making very good friendships. So yes, yeah, it's been great. Cool, cool. Um, so. There's one topic that I would like to touch on, um, and that is the notion of, of time, right? And allowing for proper time in the preparation, right? Um, so, and I think this also became relevant to you in your in your specific case, because what we always emphasize with our mentees and also with people outside is that you should not rush the preparation. And mm -hmm. uh, if I remember correctly, you even postponed your, your interviews, right? In, uh, to ensure that you are really ready when the time comes to go into these interviews. Um, so what is your take on this? If you now look back uh, on how you did it, um, I mean, um, if someone or if someone would ask you, oh, should I really postpone my interviews, right? Will this, will this uh, somehow be perceived negatively? What would you tell such a person? <laughs> yeah, I always tell them that, yeah, go ahead, you know, reschedule and postpone interviews uh, as much as you like, right? Because I myself, I have rescheduled uh, multiple times <laughs> with both <laughs> marketing and BCG, and there was no question asked. Yeah. Um, so, you know, for me, I think, uh, I, I guess all the recruiters in MBBs are pretty busy, and they're also very open to the ideas that, that you know, they wanted uh, people who interview with them to prepare the, the best that they can. So, you know, rescheduling was not a, a problem at all. Um, and I myself think, you know, all these interviews are that they are like golden tickets that opens that every one half years or two years. So you, you should never waste that. Uh, so, yeah, I really wanted to only prepare. Uh, and I felt that if only if I was like 200 percent ready, then only I go to interviews. So I would maybe advise the same things uh, for others as well. Yes, yes, thank you, because this is exactly what we're always telling people. I mean, going into such an interview, I mean, this can be a life changing event and uh, going into life changing events, you should make sure that you're prepared. <laughs> yes, <laughs> All right, very good. Right. So um, do you already know when you will start with the firm? Yeah, I will start on 7th of November. So uh, yeah, two months and I'm going to vacation a bit. <laughs> One <laughs> right. month to Vietnam at least. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Please do this, right? Uh, please uh, recharge as much as possible, right? And uh, uh, then uh, go into your new career with full steam. <laughs> Congratulations again. And uh, yeah, all the best, Alicia. Thank you, CD. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.